Let's go with, uh... Every time I pick the orange doggo, something bad happens. So let's go with, uh, this other orange one. <laughs> Excuse me. my wrist on my desk. Wow, that is a not well color coordinated doggo. Oh my god. I've never used this color scheme before and I don't think I ever will again. Save the doggo. So I had, I had what I would count to be a pretty bad run, it was still sub 145. I had no idea I was going to save literally 10 minutes by changing the route when I submitted uh, two hours as my estimate. But well, what you going to do? Yeah, I, I think uh, the graveyard softlock, all I can really do is save and quit and start the level over. If it happens, it happens. You know, this happens sometimes. It's usually rip run. I have a, I have a backup in the form of uh, saving and reloading the game. That's really... That's really the only thing that just completely destroys a run, makes it unfinishable, except for... Uh, forgetting the letter, which same fix for that save and reload the game. I also have a, um, a save state at the beginning of every level, if I just completely bung something. But I don't think that's going to happen.
I'm gonna post a completely unrelated image because it's important. I don't exactly have time to look at it, but uh, go ahead. I can't, I can't even, like, raise my hand to click that right now. Kind of speed running. Hey, don't hit me. I guess I can look during the inner tuber scene. I bunged it again. There we go. You have to go way to the right. Oh, that. <laughs> that thing is a problem. the desk to... No, I can't. Okay. That was very worth sciencing. I just got a uh, notification of an email I need to very urgently look at. Got like, you know how when you get an email uh, and you get like half of the subjects as the tooltip pop up, right? There's potentially some very bad news that I'll need to cancel this run in action. And it's uh, messing with my duping. Oh, I did that already. <laughs> okay, it's a phishing message. Woo! That was scary. So I got an email from my web host, which hosts some pretty important stuff, including like where I keep my resume and things for when I apply for jobs in the very near future, going, we have suspended your account. And I went, holy crap, what happened? It's a phishing email. <laughs> That was scary, and completely ruined my, uh, goblin fort. Curse them.
Did I forget the shoe? No, I didn't. Okay. I'm sorry, that completely just ruined any focus I have. I do apologize. That really just scared the crap out of me. Okay, let me try to get my head back together here. A couple of grenades. Wing. I think I should wait until the next level to do that. It gives me a better chance to pick up um, something I can sell so I don't have to sell my duped herbs. Yes, I'm running this for handheld heroes in about a week. It's gonna be on speed gaming. That part I wish wasn't the case, but. I felt a little weird about speed gaming ever since the uh, Vi partnership they had, they announced. Granted, that doesn't seem to have really done anything to their, um, their flow or how they operate, so. I like that I can't dupe right now. Get in the hole. <laughs> That's a little spooky, to be honest. Because that grave is really hard to open for some reason. You know. Things that could be taken out of context. take a hit from this thing right now. I want to heal first. Mm. Okay. I risked everything. That, uh, that phishing message was pretty sophisticated. The only reason I got suspicious is, is uh, it got sent to my, uh, the domain I have hosted with that company. And it's like, my official contact is not hosted on the same domain that they host, because that would be stupid. And then I realized, wait a minute, this isn't legit. <laughs> Is 
This guy can hit for, I think, 35. Also known as completely ruined my day. Oh yeah, Cusa Grande tomorrow. See you then. I gotta check and see if there are any open GM slots. I said I would take something that was open and then forgot to check. Alright, I'll grab something. Have a good night. There is a way you can, like, speed this room up, and I haven't quite figured out what it is. I've done it a couple of times on accident. I think it's deliberately killing those ghosts on the way up instead of skipping them. We save Camille and she'll never be a problem again. Also, I just want to point out for a jail cell, that's really uh, furnished. There are two chairs, a queen size bed, and a fireplace in the jail cell. Now, here's the thing about having a fireplace in the jail cell that's got to lead somewhere. Couldn't you just climb out the chimney? Completely useless to me. Ah, 
That's how you do it. Excellent. Now for this stupid room. I wanted to poke these boxes to see if there's anything of value here. And there was. Quite a bit of value, actually. Yeah, I know the feeling. And then I remember I woke up at 9 p.m. I was hoping one of them would actually, you know, hit me. Backup time. This is the backup strat for this room. The backup strat is to uh, stand on the other side of that banister until the wizard casts, get in there, and pray you don't miss. Because if you miss, he has time to cast, and it could be blast and you die. <laughs> Wizari. Hey, open. You didn't have anything I wanted anyway.
Cuso Grande is important. I've... You want to see Cusa Grande tomorrow if you at all can. I've, I've heard some things. I, I can't say who or what, but yeah, you want to see it. Uh, are you addicted, Plute? Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> There's a non-zero chance this horse can one-shot me. Huh. Studded leather. Maker 2 is the hot new thing, huh? <laughs> wow, I didn't step on the fire. That's okay. Is there any class in 14 that has a damage revenge mechanic? Probably not. Now let's just do more damage. All right. Okay, so we got the um, backwards entrance to this area again, but now I, I know what to do for the moment. Everyone I know, including me, has had some kind of problem with uh, Final Fantasy XIV's account management. What is that fork? Why aren't you special? <laughs> but yeah, okay, fine. One person hasn't. I'm having some major, major duping problems. Oh, it's a spear. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, that's a problem. <clears throat> I 
No one saw anything. That's a hell of a gold split in Mazari, though. That was a little fid uh, fiddly. <laughs> the mega unit. I have not paid any attention to the Steam Summer Sale. All I know is they have some kind of mini game and it's incredibly rigged. You would think because you get that jingle that you don't have to come here and talk to this guy, but you do. I've tried to go into the boat without talking to him and no, it don't work. <laughs> All right, boat has been my bane lately. I don't like that getting hit cancels your charge. not have opened both menus. Here's a really good place to dupe, actually. The trick of it is you don't want to overdupe healing items on boat because then that means you don't have enough inventory slots to dupe power wine effectively. I should have waited till the end of this hallway to let the barrel tag me. Oh well.
Oh, my guts went down. That was a little rough, but not terrible. This room is pretty cool. I actually like this room. It's probably my favorite room on boat. Favorite boat? It's a good question. I don't have an answer. I don't know if I have a favorite boat. Which dungeon do I enjoy most? Uh, Goblin Fort. I guess that's a bit of a sandbag answer, but it's true. Let me introduce you to Bodie McBoatface. Wait, what? Now wait. Wrong thing. Uh... It's fine. <laughs> Dumb jokes are sometimes the best jokes. Why did my guts have to run out right then? Hit me. Thank you. Let me get into my duping position. So we start with 16 strength. One day I'm going to find a way to get uh, infinite strength without having to do this. 27. And I'm going to find a way to skip cutscenes. And then the run's going to be like 20 minutes. <laughs> 40. Thank you. 
totally lost track. Uh, I think I said 55 before, so that should be 70. 75. My mind wandered and I forgot where I was at. the uh, rhythm. One seventy seven. Thank you. 
That was a lightning fast dupe. Faster than I usually do, anyway. Maybe even competitive with, uh, Fourth Horn. Alright, let's go. Go, go, go. Forty-seven into uh, Robert's quarters is uh, pretty good. Pretty good. This is going to be a gold split unless I die somehow. I think I had about an 80% uh, dupe success rate during that, which is not bad considering it's a pretty narrow window to do it. Let's go pirate. Is this going to be the rare sub-50 boat? No, nah. nah. <clears throat> it's going to be a little short of that. Squid time. And we're gonna go straight in. We're not gonna. We're not gonna have to dupe. We're not gonna have to do anything. We just go in and uh, we're gonna poke a squid a whole lot with a knife. <laughs> Admittedly. Sub-50 squid. Beautiful. I need to get out of the habit of uh, opening my menu to check my healing drops so much. It can cause some real lag if you do it at the wrong time. There's a goblin there that wants to kill me. Okay. We'll just go in with guts then. <laughs> ha! Oh baby. The one cycle. Well, the, the phantom one cycle, you stop his cycle transition. <laughs> I 
All because I accidentally opened the item menu there. I think it's worth it to deliberately take a hit from one of those kobolds and get guts for that fight. Because the opening dialogue is so short, you... You keep guts. I'm very much in go mode right now. That boat was so good that, uh, like, it's so good that in my last run, I was just now finishing boat. Actually, no. I was just now getting to, uh, Roberts. Hey, mushroom. This is another one of those situations where I can just take a moment to uh, regain my SP while duping. I need to work that into my route a little bit more. Understanding when, hey, if I stopped now to dupe, even though I don't need it, uh, I'll regain SP and do the next room faster. Hey. Good shot, Scorpion. Getting knocked down to 52 is actually pretty ideal because I'll walk into Oswald, take a single hit and have guts, and then the Armageddon begins. Hmm. I accidentally did the, uh... Yeah, there we go. Well, you're done. That's gone. Sub-55 Oswald. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say sub one Yeti is uh, looking possible. <laughs> okay, spawn the Yeti. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, uh, 42 health is in one shot range from the Yeti boss, so I'm gonna need to heal and hope we can manipu manipu manipulate out a Guts or not. It's not super important in this fight. It will make the ice block faster if I have it, though. Because the ice block is just ridiculously high defense. See, if I hadn't healed, that may have ended me. I don't know. There we go. Fifty-seven minute Yeti. I am four or more minutes ahead of my PB because of that spectacular dupe. This is the run that has to make it because uh, it has a not garbage dupe in it. <laughs> frankly, so you know the whole not looking at my time thing just to get a good no reset practice in thing has just gone completely out the window. Oh well. I don't like this room particularly much. I've got 40 minutes of this run left. I can't be getting nervous about my pace now. Ow. Ah, uh, he blocked me. Come on, one more. Thank you. Alright, this is the kill everything room. This is one of the bosses it can all go wrong on. Um, Dark Mistress is easy. Hot as heck boss is easy. This guy, it can go wrong. Okay, we're gonna take him across this way and then pull him up. Yeah, there we go.
<laughs> Phrasing, Plute. That was a three, three, four cycle. No, three cycle because I took one of his limbs out in the beginning. <laughs> what am I doing? That was terrible. You talk too much. I really want to turn my uh, splits back on, but I think I'm going to leave them off for the moment. Just go as fast as I can and worry about what comes out at the end later. Um, I'm saving Kabotis, by the way. I don't want to even risk the two seconds it takes to shank him. You can actually miss Kabotis, and then he'll hit you, and it costs like five seconds in total. <laughs> it's a really silly way to lose five seconds. Well, maybe closer to three. I wonder who the Dark Mistress is calling a pathetic idiot in this dialogue. Because this box right here is a uh, ha 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 what a pathetic idiot, basically. If it's Kabotis or us. the uh, movement there a little tiny bit. Ooh, not one of them died. That was exciting. I don't care about that, it's just money. healing drops. I know we've almost never seen that pack of uh, sorcerers cast blast, but I assure you every single one of them can cast blast. I got real worried there for a moment that I had soft locked it. Woohoo!
Alright. Getting ready for the clone fight. Granted, my manipulation has been reliable as long as I do it right. They all tried to punch me. Everything in this dungeon wants to punch me. Alright, here we go. This is so scary, because if you do this even slightly wrong, he hits you and you die. I think even through a, um... Like, a low-range hit, he would still one-shot me. I have claws out. Okay, it worked out. <laughs> oh my god. That is so scary. For how simple and how, like, reliable it looks, it is so scary. Because, uh, that claw swing when he moves south and comes at you, comes like a pixel from hitting you. That was a little squirrely. It's alright though. I'm actually running slightly higher attack than usual right now because uh, I overduped a little bit. Maybe by about 10. And I'm also running a non starter knife. I'm probably about 20 to 25 attack over normal. With the knife, anyway. <coughs> Alright. I forgot to level up knife again. Not even gonna bother to try to get guts here because my health is way too high to do it correctly. Oh, I almost didn't make it. If that last hit wouldn't have taken her out, she would have, uh, she would have picked me up. <laughs> and then we'd be in for bad times. I got some low rolls on that. I should be able to get knife three now? Oh yeah. Did that bat just drop a scalpel? I, I hit B like three times. Seventy one is risking it. Uh, I think I'm going to heal before I let Gil hit me. Gil usually does about 60 with his, uh, cane, his staff, but 
I don't want to risk it. Either way, one hit should put me in guts range. Stand corrected. Okay, he's gonna hit me for 40 consistent. Yeah. There. That was a little rough. I, uh... I goofed the math. <laughs> I did the math wrong. That's okay. just completely fill up right now. Good. 16. I thought I could use that, but can't. Again, I don't want to risk taking a dark blast and him hit managing to hit me for 75. He almost did. I think that cost me uh, four healing drops. Really? Come with me, bats. Wow, that was an incredibly late spawn. So, hot as heck was a little rough, but nothing I haven't, you know, done before.
I made up for a good chunk of it by uh, taking him out quickly. I also just realized he has horns. I've never had him high enough on, or low enough on the screen to actually see that. Level up. Yeah, he does that. Alright, Chaos Castle. Wow, that was some bad luck. Okay. I healed, it didn't go off. might have a few stacks of guts right now. I need to be more careful. I need to control my greed. <laughs> my greed for time saves. I should have probably picked that up and equipped it, to be perfectly honest. Okay, dupe time. Well, I get my SP back for the uh, next part of this room. I could do. I just had an idea to make this room easier. There we go. Yep. I'm gonna from now on I'm gonna intentionally proc guts off of the fire there. That's good. Ooh. This is not somewhere I want to be stunned. Every room in this castle is just horrifying.
don't know what just happened. There's another gut stack. have to do it before going into guild 3. A Mort playthrough? Why are you asking me that now? I might do a Mort the Chicken playthrough. It looked fun. Okay. That was a terrible... I don't know. I made a lot of mistakes, but I also made the mistakes very fast. If that makes any sense whatsoever. It doesn't to me, but... Uh, there's no point in charging here. This is just going to be a flat-footed stabbing fight. Actually, yeah, we'll charge. Die. Thank you. Blindness really sucks, but I don't really know of any better way to handle that fight. I guess backing up and charging would help me mitigate the blindness, but at the same time, then you're wasting time charging. And if he hits you during a spin, which he's going to do, uh, you stop spinning. It's real wonk. Alright, so we're going to go... I'm going to use SP rather liberally in the next area. And then I'm going to dupe in the egg room. That's what I've decided I'm going to do. No, wait, you get egg before the nasty hallway. Uh, either way, I'm going to dupe in the egg room. Ow. <coughs> dupe the eggs. Alright, this should be the final dupe of the run. <laughs> I need to calm down. I'm trying to go too fast. Which is funny to say in a speed run, but if you try to dupe too fast, just nothing comes out. You don't even throw the drop. Nineteen is good. Hello, Death Art. Death art, more like death fart, am I right? Ah, ha, ha. I have no idea what my pace is right now. For all I know, I could have lost four minutes in there and I'm even or behind. But 127 to death art feels fast.
This is a banger, I'm telling you. I haven't even cut scene mashed in this run. It was supposed to be a no reset <laughs> to get ready for a marathon. Alright, it's time. Let's do it. Oh no, that was close. Oops. 128-25 death art kill. <laughs> I shouldn't have looked. Shouldn't have looked. <laughs> mm-hmm. I had a feeling. I looked once because I uh, double split and I wanted to make sure I split in the right place. Uh, but... Uh, I wasn't sure I had kept that pace. And yeah, I did lose some time in Centaur. Oh well. That's okay. I would like Death Art to stop talking now, though. That was a pretty clumsy castle. I was, uh, nervous. Please stop. I lost a lot of time. He hasn't even turned back to normal yet. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go, finally. Jesus. That was a really bad Chaos Castle. Oh well, that's alright. I think in my PB, my Chaos Castle was like gold by a minute. It was ridiculous. Uh, and if there is a level that I am the weak weakest in, it's Chaos Castle. Just because it's so big and so complicated. Mm -hmm. Basement time. Basement is heck. I like it. So that should give me a 135.30 if I bring it home. Roughly. 135.3x. Yeah, I can tell you where I lost most of the time. It was in um, the couple of rooms just before Gil 3. I I was trying to juggle Claw and Knife instead of playing safe, and I got caught in a couple of places and took a ton of damage. And that translated to having to dr uh, do probably 10 extra healing drops, which comes out to about a 20 to 30 second time loss. On top of whatever I lose getting my butt kicked by the enemies because I was clumsy and careless. But... If I get a 135 of any descript, I'll be happy. The king needs to stop talking now. And Camille, and the queen. <laughs> and one for Ginny and the wimp. Wait. That doesn't even make sense here. But yeah, that boat was amazing. 
Um, like I said, I probably had somewhere in the line of an 80 to 85, maybe even 90% dupe success rate. When usually I would consider myself lucky to have two thirds. Move it, doggo. Twenty drops, got my knife out. Whoops. Nineteen drops. <laughs> And now for the long, intense stairwell and hallway. Hallway as heck, uh-huh. Give me a 135 of any kind, I'll be happy. I've got to have a good chaos to get a 135, but it's doable. I don't remember how good my chaos was in my PB. I think it was the one I took some risks and got some extra hits in and even got guts from swimming in his puddle. Uh, which is not something I typically would do in any run. PB, world record, marathon, anything. Because it's too dangerous. Um... The risk of it is when you take damage, you can't heal while you're in hurt animation. So if you're unlucky, he can just juggle you and you can't do anything and you die. <laughs> Alright, Chungus, let's go. Charge. Well, I've stacked up guts. <laughs> Not necessarily deliberately, but... I'm also not a fan of this golem thing. Oh, he can't be puddled. Thought that was gonna end him. having problems. Alright, that wasn't good, but I'll take it. <laughs> a three minute PB when I could have had a four. That's alright. I forgot to, uh... Oh. I know what happened. I forgot to buy dexterity with my level ups. That would have made a difference. Because uh, the problem I had was that I was uh, whiffing on him a lot, and guess what would have mitigated that? Oh well. Well, that last run was a bad one. I, I had a what, 145? This is fine though, I'll take this. How did I do in the beginning? I did most of the run with my splits off. Yeah, th this is stupid. Like, uh. So much more time to be saved. To do that, I have to sit through the entire credits because I never saved. And if you never save, it doesn't save until the very end. Yeah, just the, the difference maker was that boat. One thirty five sounds like a, a good thing to aim for though. <laughs> I mean, considering I left two minutes on the table, 
with just this run. 133 to 132 is likely possible. I don't feel like Fawn would just, like, destroy me with superior duping in this one, though. For some reason, lightning struck and my dupe was just amazing. I gotta figure out what I did differently. Could be any number of things. I think one of the things I find interesting is that uh, at some point I decided to take four intelligence at the very beginning of the run, which only gives you eight SP, but every time I finish a boss fight, I have no SP. So I feel like... <laughs> I feel like it's worthwhile. If anything, I would consider taking more. But uh, I think what I need to do is just use Claw more often. I, I lean too much on Knife because of its superior damage. But because I'm running 200 Strength right now, I don't need the superior damage until Chaos Castle. I can Claw Flurry things dead all the way up until then. I should really only have the Knife out for bosses and um, the rooms where you're just like forced to sit as things attack you. Those are the two places for Knife. I'm going to guess that I left uh, 12 stat points and 3... No. 8 stat points and 2 level or skill points on the table. Uh, yeah. I did knife spin clone once and the first hit didn't kill it. So I've been worried, but uh, 3 hits should be fine. Like, just the movement bonus you get from using Claw instead of Knife is huge. Because Claw, when you unload a Claw Flurry, you, you move faster for a moment, right? Uh, knife makes you move slower for a moment. Uh, claw has more knockback. It's why I worked it into the route instead of just going pure Knife. Is all that. But I don't use it nearly enough, and I, I feel like I could cut a lot of time off if I just used it more often. Uh, the main problem is... The lunge is so hard to aim, I don't trust it. I just need to get better with uh, Claw if I want a better time. Like, I'm gonna say 130. Sub 130 is, is doable. 132, some of best. 132, some of best doesn't mean a whole lot, though, because like I said, that's... Every time, any time I did a level properly and didn't have to dupe in it, that was a gold split. But then that means I have to dupe somewhere else, you know? So it's probably closer to a 133, 133.30 would be my sum of best. But I have the potential to score quite a few more golds. Especially in the latter half of the run, where I've been doing the 200 strength route and I'm stronger now. It's just... It's so rough, because there's so much cutscene. Um, I would probably go in super hard on this if someone found a cutscene skip. Because it's so fun, except for... This. <laughs> just sitting here. I need to time how much of this run is cutscene. How Brawler would do in any percent advanced. Uh, my gut feeling is inferior to the ninja because you would have the exact same damage capability 
and your difference comes down to who has speed and who doesn't. <laughs> both percent I think both percent like having I hate that that's a dumb category name I think both modes in one sitting would be real interesting because advanced mode is hard if you just go in with a fresh um, normal mode character But uh, one of the things that makes uh, advanced mode weird is that you can come in with a custom built character because it's, it's in G+. So, like, Fourth Horn's character has 500 strength, 999 health, and the best weapon in the game, and all, all the skills maxed. And, you know, yeah, that's... I guess that's the point of New Game Plus in games like this. Um, is that you skip all that building and leveling up and stuff, but it, that's part of the run to me. And it's a, a fun part of the run, is trying to decide what the uh, optimal stat balance is. I'm going to insist that I saved three and a half minutes because I named my character a one character name instead of something silly, and that's where all the time save came from. <laughs> 